My people from everywhere, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a very special guest, the homie Pack out here, man. I want to go ahead and talk to y'all about the Black Feud app. I mentioned to y'all before, but now the homie going to break it down in details way more than I gave y'all before. So no further ado, let me introduce the homie Pack. What's happening, brother? How you right, doing bro. today, man? Yep, yep. So let's talk about it, man. Let's tell the people about what you got going on here. Okay, Black Fuse is a social media created by me. It's uh, for the black people, but it's just like Facebook, Instagram, a little twist of TikTok. So if you uh, tap in, it's just about trying to bring our own people together and monetize our own yeah. wealth, black people. That's what's up. Not just being a part of something, starting something. Right, right. So what you bring it down here, what you pretty much did is pretty much like the Silicon Valley. You didn't brought Silicon Valley to the hood in a sense. You didn't brought it down here. You creating your own the same way they did. But you a brother from the hood and you doing it. Yes, sir. Right here. So it's just about everything we see, especially something that's glamorized that should be monetized. We have to emulate it ourselves. Right. Just to bring it to light and make sure we profit off it to help our own people. Right. We can't just be keep participating in something and in making sure they uh become wealthy and we get crumbs out of it yeah so i'm just trying to change the narrative it's like know? we get our own instead of other people making money off of us basically if you know we prize we've been the prize yeah that's what it is like all yeah. these other other platforms we ain't getting nothing off of that we might get a little bit off of that but you said, Let, let's get it all let's no, get our we own can really eat once we get into the intricates and really understand how and what right because we don't have nobody to teach us we're going to take what they give us Right, right. So that's all. Just trying to change it up a little bit and, you know, make sure we understand more in depth of what we're doing. Right, right. Glad you said that because, like I said before, on this channel, man, I don't want to just focus on the past. I don't want to just focus on what we've been. I want to let's focus on what we're trying to get to. And what you're doing is a prime example of what we're trying to get to because you done did it already and you're doing it. You got Black Fuse app and now you got Black Fuse TV, if I'm correct. Yes, sir. Tell them about Black Fuse TV. Black Fuse TV would be equivalent to Netflix Prime Video. So it's a lot of separate channels that can be created. Same format. It's just created by me. So Black Fuse is social media. Black Fuse is a TV. But there would, it would be just like Netflix. So the Black Fuse TV. So tell them how, how did that work though? Like so with the TV, what you're going to have like for us movies on there? How are you going to do it? I'm going to have movies, I want podcasts, some different, it has a pay-per-view channel so I can create pay-per-view events. Okay. So it's just, I'm still in, in the works of getting with content creators to create the whole thing, but I have it formatted how it's going to be already. So we'll be able to do numerous things to answer your question. So right. like these videos, like my show, I could be able to have my show on. Yes, like sir, Fuse you TV. have a channel, yes. Oh, that's yes, cool. I like that, man. So a live podcast. You can have uh, videos, old TV shows, whatever whatever I want to do, I can do it. it. Was How was that putting it together, man? Was that hard? Well, the process, you know, anything you kind of uncertain with, you don't know. You know, you're diving into. You got to learn. But we all should want to learn for the rest of our life. That's what you live for is to learn. Right. So for me, it's just, just I'm all for it because I'm about trying to progress and right. help other people. So... If I know, I can share. Yeah. So it's just, I'm tired of watching other people win. And we we got a voice, but they pay us to say what we want. And they make us go away when they want us to go away. Right. You get what I'm saying? So it's just trying to change the narrative. Oh, you're doing it, brother. You're doing a great yeah. job. And like I can say, you're inspiring, man. That's why I had to come back down here and get this story, man. Because a lot of people want to know. I heard people ask me about the Black Fuse app. And you want to tell people, let people know about the little hiccup that was going on for people that did tap in? Okay, yeah, so sometime if you tap in and the app freezes, whatever, it's maintenance. So we build in an actual real big social media and it's coding sometimes it's down for coding or whatever. I'm learning as well, but uh, there's a one eight, it should be customer service number being put everywhere real soon. Okay. So just tap in, but always tap back in if something goes wrong yeah because we there we're not going nowhere right black fuse black fuse tv gonna be here so so the black fuse tv so right now what you have on that is just uh, you got the app i see you showed me the app so yes i have the app right now but uh the first channel that's going to be created is the music from g mode and who's the hottest yes. will be videos and local people and different people just like they submit to youtube they'll be able to submit their okay. music and bios of themselves or groups whatever they got going on but I'm a, like I said, the next thing I do is a channel. It's going to be a podcast channel. Okay. 
is where you're going to come in at. Right. But I got some people have movies, independent movies. They've been submitting already. So I'm at a variety of things, but I want everything to come from us. So so people can be able to put the independent films on Black Fuse yes, TV. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's cool. Y'all hear that all yes, over sir. people all over the world. Where y'all from? You better put your own yes. stuff on Black Fuse TV, Black yes, Channel. Sir. That's what's up, yes, bro. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Hey, man. So, so we, we was also talking a little while ago. And like I said, bro, I don't want to just, even though my channel, I do talk about the past a lot. I tell my stories and all that. But more so, man, it's, it's important to uh, talk about where we're trying to go. You know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's elevate. Let's not stay in the past. We, we done been there, done that. And, and let people know why it's, it's it's not always important, not always a good thing uh, to always dwell on our past and just act like that's that's everything. For me, is I don't like to get too caught up in the past because we'll stay in the past. Right. The past is where we made a lot of mistakes. We had a lot of hiccups. We made a lot of mistakes. And first of all, we you know, for me is we lose family members and the course of doing time, you lose family members from being on the street and gangs, friends, I lost it all. So in being, I want to live where so much trauma right. was brought upon us. So for me is how do we step away from that and step into something bigger and better? Right. So if we continue to live where shit went wrong, that's all we gonna know. So we got to progress, we got to step out of that. So if we keep, you know, glamorizing what went wrong? Yeah, shit gonna stay wrong. Right. Got to got to move forward, man. Got to move on. Hey, just look at it like this too, bro. It's like just think if you were still just caught up in the banking, if your mind everything you focused on was the hood, you was just cripping. Like this is what I want to do every day. You wouldn't have been half the energy, the time, strength, the energy to come up with this platform to create this, come up with these ideas because your mind would have been so captured you know I mean you still caught up in the past everything else you still trying to bang at an old age at that yes sir. Might, let me include that at the old age is one thing when we young we did certain things but now you up in age yeah so to be up in age and we still focus on basic bullshit i mean elementary cripping and blood or whatever that's gonna always limit us so that you you are somebody that just like just use a prime example of somebody who Elevate took your mind out of that because you didn't did your time, you didn't did all that, but now you're like, enough is enough. I'm focused right. on this. And once again, your example to show, once you focus on something else, look what you can get to. This brother then created his own platform. That's right. Black That's Fuse. Right. How, how long had you had that idea, man, to want to do that? Uh, for years, I had the idea, actually, when I um, was incarcerated. Okay. So I started my mission there of reading and yeah. you know what and how it take learning because when i see something i want to how do you emulate that yeah i could put my own twist to it and do this but how do you do that right. so that's for your research and your, your your education you know you go on that path of how yeah and it takes studying and, and yeah. reading and time commitment it don't come to you yeah just yeah. like you committed to the streets yeah i always tell people you can use that same energy exactly exactly and put it into yourself not the hood, right? You can win, so it, that's what it's just about. It's just about believing in yourself and, yeah, you know, want more for yourself. I I share that too, man. It's like you know, if we committed to, it's like game banging, bro. We put our all into that. I want to make this name for myself. I want to do this for the hood. I want to do it this way. But just imagine if we put applied that same energy to something else, that's gonna take us to the next level in life. See, that's the thing. A lot of people just stuck on this basic level. They don't want to elevate, open their mind. Like you said, take commitment. You had to learn all this stuff while you was incarcerated. It's just like when you're incarcerated, you're trying to get back out. You're in the law library. You're fighting these appeals and stuff like that. You commit to that. So you're somebody that's, that's like I said, another example of somebody who committed to something different and you've done it. You're yeah. doing it. So it's a, it's a progress, but... You know the process don't never go away. You gotta you gotta commit to the process and let it play out. Right. And for me is shit. If I risk my life already, <laughs> right. It's some bullshit. So I need to uh, dedicate my life to progress. So right. it's just you know like I said, my family don't come from money or nothing. Right. Yeah. And a lot of us don't, but you know I could change that narrative, and that's my whole you know life standing now is about changing that narrative. Yeah. As you know, were you an athlete when you were young? Yes, sir. What, what you play, man? Football, so, basketball. I play any sport. Any sport. Any sport. <laughs> hey, you know why, man? Because 
this is me. I, I, I look at it like this. I study athletes. I study a lot of them, man. And, and then their philosophies, like, of course, the LeBrons, the Kobe's, all the rest of them, the Jordans and all that. Their mentality. I always speak on the Mamba mentality. You got to have that because you got to fight through certain things. Yeah. So, you know, you're going to go through patches in life where things are tough. But you got to be able to, to con stay Persever consistent, persevere yeah. through yes, that. Sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And, and, and that's what happens, man. A lot of us, we, we run to these patches, these obstacles, and then we just like, man, fuck this shit. I'm going back to the hood. Yeah, and uh, I know I'm sure at some point in time you had that feeling. Did you, which, I, I mean, of course you didn't, you didn't persevere. I mean, well, I didn't. I'm gonna say I didn't yeah. because I already know what's waiting on me. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know it was. I already know what they doing. Right. Nothing. What homie? Who went to jail? Who died? To this? To that? Same shit, bro. Yeah. So in doing, I could not to say I don't tap in uh you know with my people they're my people forever right but i could choose to do something different because i have a choice i wake up with a choice every day bro right and i'm gonna exercise that choice to do something different every day that's it so i'm never gonna be caught up but never but your athlete point athletes that's 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 what we do yeah. when we play you gotta you gotta see you only have a game football once a week right but nobody see when you're working out on Monday, when you're practicing on Tuesday, when you're studying on Thursday. See, they only see the game day. Right. Even basketball. You have games, but you got to watch film. You got to practice. You got to do all that. They just see you at your... No, it don't work like that. You got to put in the work. The work. The yeah. pro you can't skip the process. Yeah. There's no way around yeah. it. So in being, you have to go through the necessary steps. Yeah. That's just life. Yeah, you got to work hard, it's man. Life. You, life. Can't, you can't skip practice and expect to be great. Nothing. You don't can't work do that. Like that. <laughs> don't work like that. So I'm not going to skip none of the steps to become great now. Yeah. If I can go make it over getting incarcerated, where in, in prison is turning to, 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 to G, it turned into college for me. Yeah. Because I Indeed. studied and... Yeah. And just shit, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm out, but I'm still in. Man, that's the thing about it. Prison is definitely what you make yes. it, bro. And and it, it yeah. is a university. I was yeah. just, I was just talking to somebody at work, man. I was telling them. Prison can also be like a boot camp in a sense because some people go in and get the military mind. You learn how to be disciplined. Right. You learn a lot yeah. of stuff, and that's what you make it. Yeah, discipline it, is the biggest problem. Yeah, right? and, that, and that's that's one of the most important factors we need in life because you don't have no discipline. You just just yeah, go nothing. anyway. You got to be able to resist. That's where your discipline come in at. And a lot of people don't have it. We haven't always had it. A lot of people still don't have it. A lot of people got talent. A lot of people got smarts, but they still... I mean, straddle on the fence, they still committing, they putting too much more into the negative shit where they can be like, man, apply yourself to do this. And that, I think that also comes from a lot of security. Self-security, bro, a lot of people is not secure in their status as a man. They're not secure in their status as where they come from. Once your status is like, no, this is why I done done this shit. I'm cool. I ain't got to prove nothing to you niggas no more. I'm finna go ahead and prove this to my family, myself, and go ahead and take it to the next level. I'm trying to be, like you said, the black Mark Zuckerberg, I'm trying to get to that right. level. That's right. But I can't get that level if I'm still carrying this baggage, right? If we carry this stuff from my past around, we carry that, that's going to slow us down. That's right. So, you, you, you know, discipline, right? You got to set yourself free. Yeah. Yes. That's the Mando. Yes, definitely that, man. You got to liberate yourself from the bullshit, bro. And, and it shows that's what you've done. It shows what you're doing. And like I said, bro, for people that's watching, man, this this goes to show, man. Like I did the little piece on you before, I said more than just a gangbanger. You know what I mean? Definitely right. that. You know what I mean? Yes, you right. way more than just the average crib. You more than somebody who didn't came up, use your head, man, using your head, understand the importance. Fuck that. You doing it? Because, <laughs> because, see, because we are we are worst enemy. Right. Our own people. Just like I got a social media, it, people just feel more comfortable indulging in. A uh, 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 white man social media because he white, right? So that just automatically make him right, right? Oh, the brother, what are you doing? He think he Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah. You should want your black brother to be Mark Zuckerberg. Right. That's what you should want, because you got more action and getting help. Right. You ain't never gonna meet Mark Zuckerberg, but you can meet me. Right. Never. It's never not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. He have no desire to go to the hood. He have no none <laughs> none at all. So it's just that's where we keep shit separated because we separate ourselves separatism that was taught to us but yeah. that don't mean we gotta live like that forever yeah you know that's just some, even in neighborhoods yeah 
we got brothers that don't like each other. We don't know each other. We just know we don't like because where you, where our parents happened to move and you grew up, right. and you represented where you from. I represented, so we had beef. We had odds. Right. Well, we really don't have no beef. And sometimes we got to go all the way to prison to learn that to understand that. Damn, you around the corner, you good? Yeah. Oh, oh he's solid. But we would have never knew that. Yeah. If we didn't get incarcerated. Yeah. So that's, that's the sad part. That's, that's the sad part about <laughs> it, bro. We had to go through that, man. To, yeah. You know, I, I I talk a lot about coexisting, especially for us all out here. Crips, Bloods, everybody, we got to learn to coexist. We can coexist in prison while we can't coexist on these streets. You know what I mean? It's it's a lot it's a lot to get to out here. You know what I mean? Like I said, we still climbing. We're trying to get to the top of that mountain. We all got our own mountains. We are, we're going to go post our own, post our own flag on top of our own mountain. Yeah. I mean, but it's like, like you said, we had to go through that. And sometimes, man, that's life, though, bro. Sometimes you got to go right. through that. That's what that's that's. I take it back to the military thing, right? Let's say, uh, was that boot camp? They push you through that. You they strip you through all that. That's that's the plan. You strip you through everything you went through to make you become more disciplined. That's right. Make you become more of a stronger man or woman. And it works. And it works. Yes, so when you do that, you. Hey, you know what I mean? We had to go through that. And, and in so many ways, that's what we did. We put ourselves through prison and incarceration by the, the, the activities we was involved in, the things we did. So we sent ourselves through that. Sure. Now we back out here. Now we're supposed to go ahead and be better, greater, stronger, wiser, more disciplined. Yeah. And when you're more disciplined, as you know, you can accomplish a lot more yeah. because you're able to resist a lot of the temptation, a lot of things that hold you back. Because right. you see it, you know it. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. It goes on around us every day. Every day every day so you have to keep stay focused and recapture that discipline because that's what happened when you when people uh when they let you to the free world it, they know that everybody gonna scatter yeah so we lose our discipline to what we do on a daily when we should study when we should do this how we greet people right you know when, you know in prison you just you just saying you, you ain't walking by certain brothers and act like you don't see them yeah you're gonna greet them respectfully right. exactly Cause that's what it calls for right but it really calls for it even more out here yeah yeah get what i'm saying but yeah. we lose that yeah because now you're free to be your own boss yeah everybody ain't designed for that bro no nah. it's just the reality no nah, you're right bro it's not and, and hey man it's, it's that don't it, make you a bad person no nah, it's just understanding yeah that everybody's not designed to yeah. be their own boss right and it, it looked fun it looked easy but it's not nah. bro it's it's trust me man just by me dealing with my brand bro and Work and now YouTube. Trust me, it's it's you know it's a lot, man. You just you just juggling a lot, and people don't get that. They want it's like, hey, it's a lot go into this. It's no I me. Mean, I know so many people who didn't try to start a channel. I know so many people who didn't try to start a clothing brand, and they gave up. You know, what I mean, that's the main thing. Main thing is never give up. Yeah, you gonna fail. You're just a, 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 a part of success. Right. You gotta fail. You gotta fail. It's like. You gotta if you're scared it. to fail, just don't do yeah, it. Yeah, don't never fear failure, man. man. Don't you, do you, it. You, you can't never fear failure. But you man. shouldn't if you didn't fear going to jail. <laughs> hey, that's crazy though, right? Because <laughs> hey, because we out there living this life, shooting at people, people shooting at us, all this old stuff that come with gang banging. We ain't fearing that. But now we're trying to do something else to invest and build something legit. We fear that. The unknown. Yeah. Well, that's what we fear. The that's, unknown. That's what it is, huh? The unknown. You, you ever see people like 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 in the hood you got homies that are like okay this homie he he quick to get down with his own homies yeah outside the hood uh man you 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 you, you scared of them niggas over there yeah. but you want to get down with the homies. they don't know yeah the unknown the unknown yeah. is, is the spookiest thing in the world yeah so if you take people from my neighborhood your neighborhood and we go somewhere foreign and we don't understand what's going on around us yeah that frightens people yeah but inside to that, we'll tear that motherfucker up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, yeah. another example yeah. of that, bro, back in the days, man, I used to be like, I should take homies, i like, let's go out here to Cerritos, right? Because we moved out the hood and I moved to Cerritos back in like 83. So when I went out there, it was a different type of females. Totally. Out there. It was something different. So I'm trying to tell the homies, nigga, let's go out here, cuz. <laughs> nigga, they out here, some baddies out here, you know what I'm saying? Let's go out yeah. here with these. And niggas go out there like, cuz, let's go back to the hood. That's the unknown. You know what I'm saying? They, they were square. Something wrong with yeah, them. they didn't know how to approach these women that wasn't from our environment. A lot of people just all you know is the women, the homegirls in the hood. That's, That's all right. you know. But then you want to get out here and go mess with some different type of people. Certain comfort. Exactly. That's that comfort level. You 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 don't know how that you don't know how to function when you're outside of that. And That's and right. I think and that's also, bro, with like people like I have a lot of friends, people I deal with that's non-affiliate, that does yeah. a lot of things. Like a lot of white boy friends, Mexican friends, Asian friends, of course, Italian friends. 
but I'm just saying a lot of people I deal with that's not even from this environment. And it, and it's cool when you being out, you know, you deal yeah. with them. You know what I mean, it's it's a whole different get out. Cause you're not worried about what and what and who and what. You just there. Yeah. You're just living in the moment. Yeah. So living in the moment is a lot yeah. for people. Yeah. You know, because we can't control everything that's going on all the time. But right. when we know this is not happening, they're not going to ask you where you're from. They don't even care if you've been. You know, none of yeah. that matters no more. Nah. But when you're chilling, you just like you tucked off. You see what I'm saying? But I don't need to be around where we, what yards. I don't need to do all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that, yeah. that's the time and the place. Yeah. And every Everything, you know, it's not it's not for that, bro. Yeah. And, and I think, man, that. I mean, true, I do, I promote it, I glamorize it, but at the same time, understand that we're trying to move forward. The past is the past, and let's talk about the future. Uh, some people, that's all their conversation is. Remember, we was on this yard, I was on this yard yeah. with you. That's that's all we got, you know what I mean? It's cool to reminisce about, we, we shouldn't do that every time we see each other. No. Hey, come remember your homie, we, I'm like, nah, homie, I don't, don't want to go through my, yeah. your homie. This, I want let's, to, this, let's deal with each other right yeah. now, face to face as men. Let's talk about what we're working on, what we're building. Moving forward. You're moving forward. Okay, we done that, we did that. That was our, when we first, that was a greeting. Yeah. That was a greeting, okay, you know who I am, know who you is. Okay, we done that, done that, let's go forward. You know what I mean? So. And, and 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 I mean that's what's up, bro. Yeah. That's the most important part is moving forward, man. And like I said, man, you doing it, man. I, I applaud you, bro. I'm support you, man. I'm on I'm on I got I'm the app on my you. phone. I so appreciate it. We support each so other, we man. Support each other. So. And, and and we keep on building, man. We try to inspire, bro. Let's inspire to show something different than what we didn't show before in the past. Yeah. You know that's I mean? my whole thing is we could show where we came from, what we already did, but you can still be here now. Yes. Everybody got the same chance. Yeah. Just, you know, that's what we could do, move forward. Right. That's it. So it ain't about where we come from. It's about where we going. So what, what, kind, what kind of words of wisdom you like to leave with the people, man? What you want to share with them? Tell them, give, give them some motivation, man, for people that's watching that want to learn. Just Find, this is what I tell everybody all the time. Find somebody you respect that you know really been through it and ride with him just like you did on the street. Right. I mean, any comfort, support you can give him to help him move forward and yourself, that's what you do. The same shit. It's the same plan that we did in the hood. We went and put work in with certain homies, put that same work in with your loved one to help him come up. Right. That's it. All right. So anybody that's, like, interested in starting the app, what advice can you tell them about that? Do your research. Make sure you write everything down. Till you get to a certain comfort level of moving forward, study it and do it. Don't worry about making a mistake. We've made a lot of them already. So do your research. But if that's what you 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 really cut out and you that's what you cut out to do, do it. Yeah, because I done heard people say, Man, I'm gonna start an app. You know, you always hear people say that I'm do gonna it. do them do but just do it up. Huh? Do it. It's 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 I know it's a lot of work, but it's like what would they start at first? But it depends what app, what you need. That phone, that's a smartphone. Yeah. People just use to do dumb shit with it. But yeah. smartphone, that phone will give you all the information in right. the world. Right. So whatever you're looking up, just look it up and write it down. And it's step by step of what you need to do it to tell you. Just Google that shit on Google. Everything Google tell you, you everything. <laughs> For sure, bro. Google. Hey, man. Hey, Google, man. YouTube, it's man. Amazing. And. Hey man, we learn so much on these channels. Like you said, just Google it. You fixing your cars, whatever you do. Like I said, I've been doing, I've been doing so much repairs at home lately, man. I just been from toilets to sinks, bro, to everything, man. Light sockets, lawnmowers. I've been just doing so much work at home, but and I've been just googling that shit. They tell you. <laughs> just Google that shit. On the job training. Yeah, right there, bro. So. Yeah, man. Well, I, I appreciate you, bro. I'm going to tap back in with you again. We're going to continue this because we're going to continue to uh, 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 document your progress, bro. Yes, when you're going with this, but that's with the Black Fuse TV now. That's new. So I'm going to continue to promote that. We're going to put that out there. Uh, so one more thing. Yes, sir. Black Fuse TV, Android, iOS, blackfuse.com. This is the desktop version. And also, Black Fuse TV is iOS and Android. So apps is. You can find them. They there. All right, bro. For sure. So tap in and, you know, it's on us to help us come up. It That's ain't about me. Yeah. So tap in. For sure, bro. Well, I appreciate you, man. Always, like I said, we don't, we don't get back at it again, okay. man. We're going to continue to, uh, I'm going to continue to interview you, bro, because you, uh, you're doing uh, things, man. you inspiration to a lot of us, myself, mainly myself. I see what you're doing. I, I love it. That's why I have to come back. 
You know what I mean? I just couldn't let, hold up. I listened to you talk. I'm like, wait a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, this brother talking some good shit. Like, so if, if I don't just soak this up, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck that say about me? Because I yeah. just soaked up so much bullshit in the past. Why can't yeah. I just soak up some positivity, something new, somebody somebody else doing that I don't know nothing about? Yeah. So I'm, I'm always humble myself to say, I don't know. Teach me. I want to learn yeah. too. And yeah. that's the problem, I think, with a lot of us. Nobody want to humble themselves. Say, I don't know. And then people don't want to respect because our skin color and don't want to give us a chance or where we come from. But yeah, how can you knock what you don't know? Yeah, so they gonna somebody gonna interview the both of us because we are gonna make sure we get that channel for your podcast. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. All right, man. We finna lock it down, man. Finna get up out of here, man. I appreciate you, bro. As yep, yep. always, much love, homie. All right, much love. All right, peace. Yeah.